Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today is really exciting because we are going to one of my all time favorite fast food places and that is Burger King because they have new crispy chicken sandwiches out that I kind of knew they had out but for some reason I didn't pay too much attention to them which is weird because you guys know usually I am on top of Burger King but I think they came out when I was in Salt Lake City so with me being in Utah I guess it just, I don't know, Utah just messed everything up because we were there for a good amount of time it just threw everything off but I'm finally here to try them so they have four new crispy chicken sandwiches and we are almost there at Burger King but let me tell you guys what they have sorry let me pay attention to the road um, really quickly they have, I think, one spicy version and then three regular versions of them. And we are going to get one spicy version and then one regular version. Now, two of them have bacon on it, so we're gonna get one with bacon. And then I think the regular one we're getting has bacon on it. And then the spicy one is just like a regular chicken sandwich. But yeah, these are actually replacing the chicken. So Burger King does not have the chicken anymore. All right, let me pull up the Burger King app because everything is nicely listed. Oh, they also have a new drink. They have a drink called Frozen What the Fanta. I saw it on the app and I was like, oh yes, we are definitely trying that. Dang, I have dust all over my camera. Is that better? Okay, so they have the BK Royal Crispy Chicken, which I think is just the regular, degular <laughs> crispy chicken sandwich. I'll pop it up on the screen. They also have the BK Spicy Royal Crispy Chicken Sandwich. That's the one we're getting. They have the BK Bacon and Swiss Cheese Royal Crispy Chicken. And then they also have the Barbecue Bacon and Cheese BK Royal Crispy Chicken. So I'm gonna get the barbecue version of the bacon one, and then we'll get the spicy one because I feel like barbecue sandwiches are usually pretty popular a lot of people like barbecue so I thought I would try that for you guys we're gonna get a few sides and then we're gonna get that drink so that is what's on the Burger King menu for today I was gonna do a 24 hour video of Burger King but I ended up asking y'all what you wanted to see over on Instagram and y'all voted for Texas Roadhouse so we're gonna do Texas Roadhouse for the next 24 hour video which may or may not already be up on my channel I'm not sure which one I'm gonna post first and then I'll do 24 hours of Burger King at some other point I cannot do two 24 hour videos back to back because that is is just it's too much on the stomach you know but I got two exciting things to show you guys so one is my new squishy in the back let me bring her up here her name is grace as you can see by the tag but she's a little spooky boo squishy um you know what this reminds me of I don't know if y'all know boo on Mario particularly well I think Boo is featured in a lot of the Nintendo games but Mario Kart you can be Boo as the driver and it reminds me of Boo the ghost I love her so much she's so cute so she's gonna sit in my videos I'll put her right here for now she's probably gonna fall but we'll put her right there so y'all can see her because she's so cute and then I also got the new iPhone which I'm really excited about because breathe Daisy I'm like getting way ahead of myself <laughs> so I had the 10s max before this phone which was like five six years old and now I finally have the new iPhone with the new camera I love the camera so far it's really cool because you can like zoom out and it makes it to where it's like way further like look at that that is so freaking cool I know a lot of people already have this camera so it's just oh why is this upside down? Oh, my steering wheel. <laughs> I know a lot of people have this camera, so it's not, not anything new to them, but it's new to me and I love it, which I got a little story to tell you guys um, while we wait in the drive-thru. I'm gonna just tell you all this. What happened to me yesterday, because it was, <sighs> okay. So I was playing around with this camera yesterday and I was trying to take a picture of an iced coffee with my purse because I have a new purse, which, I kind of want to show you guys, but I also don't, I don't know. Anyways, I was trying to take a picture of the coffee and the purse because it just looked so 
aesthetic and I am the clumsiest person ever so I had the coffee and the purse on this little ottoman that I was trying to take the picture on and for some reason I thought it would be a smart idea Oh, did I say I was on the balcony? So I live in an apartment complex that has a balcony and I was out on the balcony trying to get the photo. So I picked up the ottoman with the coffee and the purse on top of it to move it to a different location to get the picture to look better. I knew that the coffee was gonna spill. Like I just had a feeling, but I was like, I can do this. So the coffee spills. The coffee falls off of the ottoman, spills onto the balcony. And the thing is that I live on the third floor and our balcony, um, the bottom is just wood, like wood, it's plywood basically so there's cracks in between the wood slabs and so the coffee fell through the cracks and got all over the bottom neighbor's balcony and the one below that so the second floor balcony and the first floor balcony below me the coffee spilled onto I freaked out like I, I I just totally freaked out because I would hate for someone's drink to spill on my balcony so I rush down to the second floor and I knock on this woman's door it's like a woman and a son that lives there and I was gonna tell her hey I accidentally spilled my iced coffee on your balcony is there anything I can do to help like I can come in and clean it if you want me to um, I didn't know at that point if it had spilled on her furniture because I just rushed down there well she wasn't home no one answered the door I knocked like four times and no one was there so at this point I didn't know it had spilled on the balcony below that as well which luckily those people don't have furniture on their floor but the woman below me does so I go back up to my balcony I get on the ground at the balcony and peer through the little cracks to see like what damage had been done luckily none got on her furniture so her outdoor furniture was pushed back and the coffee drink spilled in front of it so it only landed on her balcony floor she didn't have a rug or anything it just landed on the wood I thought about writing a note and putting my number on it and being like hey this happened I can like call me if you want but I was like it's the apartment's property not her so I don't know I didn't want to be extra you know we're almost up to the intercom oh we are okay hold on you guys let me order this food one moment I'll be right with you okay no problem but yeah luckily not that much damage was done on her balcony I felt so bad though I don't understand how I'm so clumsy and I just drop everything I dropped a whole jar of mayo on the floor yesterday as well who does that me apparently <laughs> that's okay yes could I do the BK spicy royal crispy chicken combo with small onion rings and the frozen what the Fanta you said the spicy chicken meal? Yes, the spicy royal crispy chicken meal. And I do apologize, our um, slushy machine is currently down at the moment. Um, okay, do you guys have any other new drinks or anything similar? No, ma'am. Okay, I'll just do a Sprite with that then. Would this complete your water? Um, no. Could I also get the barbecue, bacon, and cheese crispy chicken sandwich? Just a sandwich or a meal? Just the sandwich, but I'll do a four-piece cheddar bite side as well. Hey, you said just the sandwich or the meal? I'm sorry. Just the sandwich. Okay, what else can I get for you? And then did you get the four-piece cheddar bites? Will this complete your order? Yes, that's it. 1790 at the first window. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Their slushy machine is down. Why is something always down at these places? I don't get it. Oh shoot, I need to pull up. Okay, no problem, thank you. Yeah, I feel like these fast food videos, there's always something. Either the drink machine is down, something's out of stock, they don't have this, they don't have that, the ice, the ice cream machine isn't working, like, come on. I just, why? It's okay, hopefully they'll still have it when we do our 24 hour Burger King video because, yeah. 17.90. Here you go. Uh, 
Yeah, sure. Thank you. Great, thank, thank you, you so much. Time. You too. Oh, I need to ask for zesty sauce. You can't forget the zesty sauce when you come to Burger King. No, you can't. Hey, how's it going? Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. Could I get zesty sauce with that? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, she said pull around. I think usually I pull around right here. Okay, you guys. Wow, I am so freaking ready for this. Like, so freaking ready. Okay, well, I don't want to, like, bore you guys to death. Oh, look at my background. It's so cute. It's all fallish. I still have Mellow as my Loxerine because Mellow it just makes me so happy. But yeah, I got this cute little fall background on my phone. But I don't know how people get all their widgets. I really have not played with this phone much. I think even on my old phone, I could have put all the widgets on it, but I just didn't because... I don't know you know I'm a very simple person <laughs> anyways I will check in with you guys once I get the food <laughs> all right you guys we have secured our Burger King bag hey I did take a peek in the bag and they gave me french fries instead of onion rings I said onion rings didn't I I don't know I'll have to look back at the footage I swear I thought I said onion rings but she rang me up for a fry Luckily, they gave us everything, though. I got the cheddar bites, the two chicken sandwiches, so let me back it up. And then where should we put little Boo at? I want him to be in the frame, you know, or her. It's a her, not him. I'm used to saying him because of Mellow. But where should I put her? I don't know. All right, so the chicken sandwich comes in a regular wrapper. I thought it came in a box. Did the chicken come in a box? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if y'all remember. Maybe it didn't. How do I feel like it did though? It looks really tasty though. Like really, really tasty. Okay, this is the regular one, which I will show you guys. Guys, I don't know if they gave me spicy. This does not look spicy. It looks like the same breading on both of them. Okay, let me show you guys, hold on. Let me also get a thumbnail. I need a sip of this Sprite, cause oh, getting set up, getting a thumbnail, takes a little bit out of you, you know? Here's the spicy chicken sandwich at least it's supposed to be spicy but i guess they don't actually have a spicy crispy chicken patty they just put spicy sauce on it camera please just work with me today there is the spicy crispy chicken sandwich i don't know if you guys can see the spicy sauce but they did put spicy sauce on there so i guess that's what makes it spicy i thought it was gonna have a spicy breading but alas it does not. And then here's the regular crispy chicken sandwich. Of course, there goes my fries. All right, here's the regular with the bacon and the cheddar on it. That actually looks delicious. Ooh, I'm excited about that one. And then we got our little jalapeno cheddar bites. So that is everything. Can you guys see? It looks like a hot mess on screen, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going to take a bite of one of these first. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Those are, <clears throat> okay, I almost just choked to death. I'm gonna cut that out. Cheddar bites are really good though. I want you guys to see my little boo. How much y'all wanna bet she's gonna stay like that? She may or may not, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try the spicy version first. So, cheers you guys. Mmm. Delicious. Okay, Burger King, they really can't disappoint with their food. Now, 
Is it better than the Chiking? I just don't think so. The Chiking was hand breaded. It was so good. What I do like about this one, the breading is a lot thinner, but it's really, really crispy. So on the Chiking, it was a very thick breading. This one seems to be a thinner patty, but I would say it has more crisp to it and more of a crunch. <laughs> It'll still make your heart sing though. It's pretty tasty. Now, completely lax on the spice. There's not even a kick to it. I mean, no kick, no spice whatsoever, which I'm kind of sad about. The bun is good though. All right, I'm gonna get one more bite of this in and then we'll try the barbecue one, which I think will be really good. So far, I think they are definitely worth trying based on kind of what I'm tasting, but the chiking felt a lot more gourmet. Think of going to a more fancier restaurant or somewhere that actually specializes in chicken sandwiches. The chiking seemed like a sandwich that you would get from one of those places. Whereas this one, it just kind of tastes like your standard crispy chicken sandwich. Like there's nothing super special about it. Okay, let's try, let me get these napkins laid out on my lap here. That way I can eat it like a normal person. Here's the inside of that one. This one's really, really good. I like the flavor profile of the spicy one, but if you like barbecue, mm-hmm, she's a goodie. That Sprite hits the spot with these chicken sandwiches. Mm. I'm not blown away, but I'm also not disappointed. They're pretty tasty. Okay, whatever barbecue sauce they use, it tastes just like the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue. Or the Stubbs barbecue. Which one am I thinking of? Either Stubbs barbecue sauce or Sweet Baby Ray's. If you like either one of those barbecue sauces, that's exactly what this tastes like. I wonder what brand they use. Or if it's like their own barbecue sauce. Because I think... If I'm not mistaken, Burger King has other sandwiches with barbecue on it. I know their rodeo sandwich has barbecue on it, so maybe it's like the same one. This is tasty though, but yeah, like I said, the chicken patties are definitely a lot thinner than the chicken. So if you liked that really thick patty on the chicken, this one is a lot thinner. Some people like the thinner chicken breast, 
patty so I guess it just depends what you're into personally I like the thicker ones I'm gonna be honest the more I eat these the more it does make me miss the chiking why did they get rid of the chiking and replace the chiking with these I mean, maybe these are just easier to make and it's cheaper, but they're good. They just, they don't compare you guys. They really don't. I think if I were to go for another one of these, I'd probably go for the spicy one. I really like the barbecue one, but after a few bites, I do get a little sick of the sweet flavor from the barbecue sauce. This one is like savory and I love savory. This one reminds me of that classic Burger King flavor that I love. Look at the patty though. The patty's jutting out. Mm. Very good seasoning on the breading. Just getting a bite of that, I do really like that seasoning on there as you can tell I definitely prefer this one I just think the flavor is better I like barbecue sauce but their barbecue sauce is really really sweet eat me another one of these cheddar bites so good so nice and Squishy and cheesy on the inside. Just looking at this in the viewfinder makes me so happy. I am so ready for like Halloween vibes, spooky vibes. Oh my gosh, Gabe and I watched Halloween Kills. I think that's what it's called. It was a Halloween movie that came out last year with Jamie Lee Curtis. And it was so, it was a letdown. It was not, I know it's a slasher film, so it's not gonna be scary, but the, it had no plot to it. It was just the same thing over and over. And it wasn't really going anywhere. I don't even think we finished the movie cause we both got really tired. So we just turned it off and we haven't finished it since. There's a new one coming out or it's already came out. I don't know, I think it's Halloween Ends. Sorry, my camera died, but it's the sequel to the reboot that the last reboot that they did. So it's a sequel to the reboot. Yeah. Let me know if you guys have seen the new Halloween movies. I loved the old Halloween movies because my mom used to watch them and she loved them. And I also thought they were so good, but yeah, the new one just was really disappointing. I'm, I definitely want to see the follow up to see what happens and if it actually has a plot to it, which hopefully it will. But anyways, the reason why I bring that up is because I love scary movies. We also watched Annabelle, the creation story, which I think is the third Annabelle movie. It was honestly like it had a lot of good scary scenes in it. Gabe said it gave him nightmares. <laughs> I definitely did not think about the movie afterwards because you know, some scary movies you get really spooked can't stop thinking about it afterwards I wasn't that way but he was it was a decent scary movie though so if you're looking for a newer movie that you probably haven't seen yet watch Annabelle the creation story it's probably a few years old at this point I don't even know when it came out but yeah I love scary movies so Annabelle the creation story definitely check that out I will let you guys know as the spooky season goes on what other spooky movies I would recommend to you guys I think the old Halloween movies are so good. They're not scary, but they just give you that vintage spooky vibe, you know? We also watched The Last Conjuring not that long ago, the most, or the newest Conjuring. 
I don't know if it was the third one or the fourth one. It was, it was okay. If y'all haven't already seen the paranormal activities, I love those. I just think, I, I just like them. I think they're good. Usually the acting is pretty good. The first Conjuring. Oh yeah, that one's so good. I want to see the new Orphan. I don't know if you guys remember the Orphan that came out a really long time ago. There is a second Orphan out. I want to see that. I haven't watched that yet. I've seen Sinister and the Insidious movies. All those good scary like them but yeah if you guys have any scary movies let me know what you recommend and i need something that's like genuinely scary i like scary movies but when they're not actually scary it's just kind of like oh okay i still like them if they have a good plot you know but we like some good scary thrills over here so let me know i think that's it for this burger king crispy chicken review though i mean i think they're worth trying if you haven't tried it i would go with the spicy but if you like sweet sweet barbecue go with the barbecue version. They also have two other sandwiches that I mentioned earlier. You can check those out as well. Hopefully you guys will enjoy seeing Little Boo for my videos this Halloween and fall season. But I love you guys so, so, so much. Please drop a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet because I know like over half of you guys are not subscribed. So what are you doing? But I love you guys so much and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.